Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. Today is the official move-in day. My place is still a bit of a mess. I went to bed around 2-ish and now it's 7 30 so the movers will be here in one and a half hours so i need to finish everything really quickly and then we're gonna move i should slow it down take it easy i just keep on staring at my phone yeah my head's spinning hearts racing knowing that you could give me a call are they awake at night because all i seem to but it's you I don't know what to do Do I want this too much? I know I have burned you once before been a crazy day it's 4 15 i slept just a couple of hours i think i've been packing until 2 in the morning and then i woke up at 6 my friend came over and we finished all the packing like really quickly and the movers were so punctual they arrived at 9 sharp they literally knock on the door at 9 a.m honestly i am so proud of myself because i did a really really good job i organized all the boxes even within the boxes my friend was laughing at me saying that i'm crazy but yeah it's just a little easier to unpack and the place is a mess and I'll try my best to put things away today as much as possible but one of the problems that I'm facing here in this new place is that there's a built-in wardrobe and there's no place for my dresser so I have this three drawer dresser but I cannot put it anywhere so I did a really quick search on Carousel Carousel is one of those second-hand platforms within Hong Kong where you can sell and buy things. So I found the IKEA, like a tall chest of drawers and I measured my new wardrobe so it actually fits perfectly. I just got that one and now I need to get rid of my original dresser which I like very much but unfortunately there is no space for it in this place so I just put it online as well let's see if somebody is interested but for now I need to carry on organizing my living room I'm gonna show you how it looks like <laughs> I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through Everything's about to come my way Nothing can ruin my date No matter what anyone does or This is how the bedroom looks like so far I think it's not too bad One of the mirrors went to this wall And I actually quite like how it looks like I think it's pretty nice So maybe I'll keep it here Time I know what it's like to be broke I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky 
lucky day Yeah, I am on my way I won't slow down Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite results It is very nice I think it's just a little too long I'm not sure how to make it shorter Can you just cut it? It's gonna look strange, right? Good morning. I just woke up and it was my first night at the new place. It was so, so good.
I think it's been my third night in the new place and so far it's been amazing. I'm sleeping like a baby here. It's 6.30 in the morning and I'm getting ready, heading to work. I have a couple of clients for PTs and then I'm going to head over to my old place since I am important because I need to hand over the apartment. So I'll be meeting the landlord at 12 p.m. But I want to arrive just a little earlier and tidy up because after I move the furniture, I discovered some dust here and there. So hopefully everything is okay and hopefully landlord doesn't have any issues with the apartment because obviously I want my deposit back. I think there's only one issue. I had a poster in my bedroom, like a pretty big one. The wall wasn't damaged very much, but there is a massive stain that left from the black wooden frame on the wall. I hope she won't have any issues with this. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Let's just hope she won't. It's been a pretty stressful time for me. The last couple of days, definitely. Especially the moving day was very, very stressful. I think it's just me being a very sensitive person. And then on the moving day, there was so much going on. So I got pretty overwhelmed with everything. But now, three days later, it feels so much better. But so far, I really like the apartment. The vibe in here is so different. So I need to get used to the new area. I moved to Happy Valley, which wasn't an obvious choice for me. It was really random, but my gut feeling just told me that I should move here. And I did. <laughs> the story of my life. but I'm happy that it's done. Hard to say goodbye. to the landlord. I thought that I'm going to see my landlord, a person who I've never seen before, but actually I met the agent and they checked everything, everything was fine. So they accepted the apartment and they returned me the deposit straight away, which I was quite surprised about because I haven't thought they will return the deposit so quickly, but I'm so glad they did. And I feel relieved because I think there was some stress going on in the background. I was a little worried about the walls and the deposit. But now when everything is over, I just feel like some weight has been lifted off my shoulders and I don't need to worry about anything anymore. I want to finish organizing the bathroom today. And tomorrow morning I'm having a very exciting event. It's like a girlfriends get together in the park kind of situation so one of my friends she kindly organized this event for all of us i think it's going to be very nice and i'm excited about this one there's something else that i wanted to bring up 
and some of you guys know that I just restarted my YouTube channel and the feedback from the world, from people, it's been very overwhelming. I've been receiving so many messages, so many comments. I was never expecting it to go this way, honestly. But I'm very happy that things that I'm doing and things that I'm showing, creating those videos about bits and pieces of my life resonate with so many people and I appreciate every single person who watched, subscribed, dropped the comment and message. Thank you very much to all of you and along with a very happy overwhelming feedback i got a couple of negative comments i know that it comes in baggage if you are a content creator if you put yourself out there you kind of need to be prepared to receive some hate from random people on the internet i guess it's just a part of the journey but being a highly sensitive person it's tough to be open to the world and then get different sorts of feedback and then kind of stay away from it and the only one reason why i wanted to bring that up is because i know there are so many highly sensitive people out there who might want to share their life with the world but they're afraid to meet this negative feedback from others i just want to tell you that it's okay one thing we need to remember about others and about ourselves is that every single person when they say something they talk about themselves they don't talk about others we all carry our own hurtful experiences and we all speak from those experiences you always have to remember your true self who you really are regardless what other people say because other people don't define you and if you want to show the world yourself your life maybe some of your work but you're scared just remember that that work might change someone's life your power and your light can inspire other people to be different to be kinder to be better to change something in their life i just felt like i want to say this and yeah just give it a thought yesterday i lost the battle trying that i cross so to keep you babe oh to keep you babe